Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at DeFi, a no-code platform to build AI applications. Nowadays, in the world of AI, artificial intelligence, everybody is talking about AI agents. Agents that can help you solve complex problems. You know, and not everybody is technical, not everybody can you know, write code to basically develop AI agents. And that's where platforms like DeFi, other platforms like Gumloop and Flowwise. I have created videos on those platforms earlier. I'll give the link in description. In this video, we are going to focus on DeFi and I'll show you how you can build a RAG, agentic RAG, you know, utilizing different tools, your own knowledge base that can be, you know, of some documents, different types of data, websites, so on and so forth. So we'll see how we can build AI agents, agentic RAG using DeFi, how we can, you know, orchestrate some process workflow or some workflows, how you can automate those things using this powerful no code AI environment. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. So if you look at here on my screen, I am on the DeFi dashboard you know, DeFi, DeFi, whatever you call it, okay. And I have logged in already, and uh, you can go to upgrade. They have a premium version here. This is how it looks like. Already has around 34,000, you know, uh, stars on GitHub, one of the most used platform nowadays when it comes to building AI applications. If you come here, yeah, yeah, I'll just, you know, remind later. There's the GitHub thingy. You can see around 34K star. It says an open source LLM app development platforms. Intuitive interface combines AI workflows, RAG pipelines, agent capabilities, and also has a bit of ops included, like observability, monitoring, so on and so forth. Now, the innov innovation engine for Gen AI applications. Fantastic pitch. I, I love this. You know, uh, the innovation part of it, right? It's fantastic. Uh, DeFi is an open source LLM, as you said, how you can build it. And you can also set this up using Docker locally, you know, if you want to do it. But I'm going to focus here on the no code platform because not everybody, this is for non technical people, to be honest, you know, in the community. Now, let me show you how you can do things here. When you commit here for the first time, let me show you some. Uh, some features or some widgets here on the top, you will see in header you have explore. If you come to explore, you can find out, you know, all the apps by DeFi. So, for example, if you want a book translation where you have different books, you know, and you want to translate that, you can just add to work, a workspace and it will do it for you. If you want to generate some SEO blog generator, optimized blog post on certain keywords, focus keywords, so on and so forth, you can use this SEO blog generator. Sentiment analysis. You have your... Uh, uh, product reviews, you want to create a sentiment analysis, you can just click on add to workplace and work with it. So that's on the explore part of it where they already have created all these applications, high level applications, classes for you, the abstractions. You just have to use this drag and drop component to basically create a process and then you can just run that process. Now the next is studio and this is what I'm going to show you. A studio, then we have knowledge and then we have tools. So in the knowledge, I'm going to create a knowledge here. Let me first show you how to create a knowledge. And knowledge is something which is your own data. Now imagine you have hundreds of documents. You know, you have some website. You can just sync that website as well using, you know, they use some kind of APIs to sync with it. You can also bring up your own Notion database. If you have Notion pages and this stuff, you can just sync that with Notion. Now what I'm assuming that you have documents locally. Now, if you want to build a knowledge base, which is your like vectorized database where you kind of convert these uh, documents basically which have text into a numerical representation that's what basically a uh, vector database is now that's what i'm going to do here so let's click on browse and when you click on browse you can just go to doc and i'm going to upload a book called how ai thinks now you can see i am uploading a pdf book it's a book that you can use you should read this book it's very futuristic which is around 3.64 mb so it's a big book it's a huge book and i want to uh, do next here uh, and you can also bring it from Notion and you can also sync your website. So if you have an e-commerce website and you want to sync some data from there, you can also do that here. Let me just do next. Now, once I do next, here are a few things. Let me explain that because this is important. We have automatic and we have custom. In the automatic, it says send chunk and pre-processing rules. It has basically, you know, if you are not familiar with how to do chunking, what should be the chunk size? How should I decide the overlap? Should I do a semantic chunking, hybrid chunking, default chunking, whatever, blah, blah, chunking. And if you are not aware of it, keep it automatic. You can also click on custom. 
where you can define some segment identifier like you want to chunk on the headers, subheaders, paragraphs, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to increase this maximum chunk to basically a bit higher like let's do it 700 and chunk overlap should be 10% uh, of that that's what the industry says so if your chunk length is 1000 you should take 10% of that as an overlap so which will be 100 and I'm just going to click confirm and preview and that is fine so I'm, I've gone through a custom chunking and the next is uh, index mode so indexing is important indexing just see indexing like a table of content for a book guys where you know indexing where you kind of have different topics and relations in a book that's what index comes here now indexing here are two types one is high quality the other is economical now high quality is something where you have to pay for it okay and economical is something which is free so i'm gonna say use offline vector engines which defy has all of these things set up for you so do not have to worry for the demo purpose, I'm going to show economical because the purpose of this video is to show you how you can use DeFi platform to build applications. Now, this is on the economical front. The next is how many top K document you want to retrieve. Now, you have built a vector database and when you fire a question to your system, it does not directly go to LLM. First, it goes to that knowledge base, which is the vector database and then looks at the uh, similar vectors, looks at the similar text content you know if you keep it a layman term and tries to find out different paragraphs different context chunks basically and that's where we can we call it top k so if you want to if you want to increase the top k like top k equals to 5 top k equals to 2 top k equals to depends on however you want to do it don't keep top k higher you know most of the time because lm has a struggle uh, with the middle context, there is a, there is a research paper by Stanford uh, called Lost in the Middle, LIM attacks on LLMs, where they kind of only looks at the first paragraph and the last paragraph as a context and they kind of ignore sometimes the middle context. So keep it three to five in the most of the time. I'm going to keep three here. It's fine. And let's save and process. Now, when I save and process, you can see knowledge created. We automatically name the knowledge. You can modify it at any time. And you can see here knowledge name. This is how the knowledge name has created embedding processing, blah, blah, blah. Process more data with higher. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to document now. Okay. Now this is where my document is. You can see how AI thinks PDF. You can also do a retrieval testing. And if you want to do that here, you can do a retrieval testing. I'm not going to do that for now. And then you have some settings where you can change the same settings. Let me just change the knowledge name. I'm going to call it demo KB. Okay. And I'm just going to save this. It's and I'm going to call. Let me just make this below three and then I'm going to save this here. Now, once I saved it, I'm going to go back to studio. So let's go back to studio. Now, our knowledge base is created and you can bring different kind of documents, you know, text, you know, word, whatever. And you can also bring up website. Uh, you know you can just sync your website you can also connect notion now i'm going to create from blank so i want to show you the blank thing now here it says what type of app do you want to create i don't want to create a chatbot i want to create an agent so i'm going to create a click on agent so let's click on agent and let's give it a name and i'm going to call this uh dummy agent or not dummy agent let's call it ai agent why not okay and you can give some descriptions and it's going to keep def let me just write sample ai agent and let's click on create now once i create the agent here you can you know uh, write some instructions and you can do that but i'm you know i'm just okay i'm not going to make any changes you can do a better prompting here you can bring a prompt template and stuff but that is not the main agenda of this video guys let me show you a few things here now here in the left hand side we have orchestrate to orchestrate the agents flow and in here we have debug and preview and here we have the llms now let me just click on this first and show you you can see the model that has been used is gpt 3.5 turbo because we are on a free thing and you can click increase the temperature so i'm just going to call it 0 0.7 as a temperature and everything looks good uh, max tokens probably i'll just increase this to 124 or something you know add max tokens and then we are okay so you can see i have made some uh or i didn't oh this was interesting uh 
no i'm not gonna do that to debug as single model yeah but why didn't okay this is fine but why didn't it 0.7 and i increase this to for example if i increase this to 124 and uh, of course, I'm not going to publish, but this is fine. Let's have a look now in agent settings. You have function calling, which is fine, the agent mode, and then maximum iterations five. So, this is fine. I'm not going to make any changes now. Here in the variables, you can see it says variables allow to allow you just to introduce prompts. So, variable is something that basically takes your input. So, you can say you can try entering input in the prompt words if you're writing something here. In the context, you can import knowledge. Now, this is important. So, here you have to bring your own knowledge base. So, let's click on add. Now, once you click on add, I'm going to click on demo KB and add that. So I have added my knowledge base uh, that we have created just a bit, you know, few moments ago, we created that knowledge base. Remember of the book right now, here are the tools and tools are important. Now tools, you can bring built in tools. You can bring custom. You can also orchestrate workflows. Now I'm going to show you custom, uh, built in. Now imagine if you want to. Uh, add numerous tools so basically depend on what kind of questions you ask it will go to those tools and bring up the information so i'm interested in duck duck go search so i'm just going to add this duck duck go search and i'm going to click on uh you know uh, yahoo finance i'm going to click on probably you know some uh ticker analytics as well and you can add multiple i'm going to click on uh Arzai, PubMed search web scrapper i don't need it these are also you can add these tools which are like showing here for free you can, if you upgrade to premium you can also bring up premium as well now what i'm doing here and let me also show you custom and workflow you, you don't have a custom you have to create that in the workflow you don't have a workflow you have to create workflow from that uh, widget now if you look at these tools i have added this tool without writing any line of code here single line of code i haven't written anything i have just added these tools I have my context, which is my knowledge base. So I'm going to build an agentic rag powered by my knowledge base and powered by these tools. And I'm using an LLM to do that. Now you can just click on, for example, you know, uh, let's click on publish. I'm going to click on update, uh, published. You can see it has published and it will be, it will take a few minutes guys to you know complete this entire process and then you can also do run app now once and i'll show that you can do a run app you can embed into different sites so on and so forth so now we are building an agent without writing any line of code here so if you look at here what we have done we have just created a knowledge base from knowledge and then we have uh, added that context and i uh, used a lot of tools over here on d5 platform the next is the run app let me click on run app now once you run app you can find out a uh, ui like this even you are not building an ui of course it has something called powered by DeFi over here but that is fine right because you're not paying anything good for faster validations and testing now when you click on start chat and you can also configure this by the way you, know, you can uh you, know, you can configure all of these things and if required uh if you not from here now let me first show left hand thing as well mm -mm, not this yeah this is something that will also help you how to use this as you know your add feature excuse me i forgot to show you add feature now in the add features and let me just close this for now in the add features you can also bring up history and stuff so if, for example if you have a follow-up question you can also you know turn on this feature so it will also enhance your system that's available in feature you also have conversation re uh, remaker so this is good if you want to you know suggest some questions so on and so forth now this is the follow-up which is like a memory so you have conversation memory if you have worked with tools like langchain llama index and so on and so forth now you can also enable text to speech a speech to text if you want the system to uh, read it for you you can also bring a citations and attrib uh, attributions i'm just also enabling it so you can add all these features even through locally if you do it through docker container guys if you, if you run this through a docker container right uh, this uh, d5 now you can also do content moderation annotations reply but i think these are enough good enough now scroll down you can see that we have added this conversation conversation opener follow-up text free speech blah 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 now you can also write opener 
here you can write write your opener message like hi how can i help you or something and you can do these kind of things you can also save some uh, top questions in stuff and you can also select some voice you can see i'm i'm okay to select you can also translate on the fly and stuff but this is fine now you can see we have selected a context we created a knowledge base we select our context over here we select all of the tools that we need to you know power the agents the system through different tools and then we have enhancement in the chat part of it through follow up questions and stuff mainly the behavioral thing over here the next is i go into and publish this so let me just update and you can see it has it says publish seven minute okay now we are publishing it the whatever changes we have made and then you click on run app now once you click on run app it will open this in a new tab so let's do that here and you can see it says ai agent start chat and you can see it says hi how can how can i help you you can also have some questions over here it has very simple interface let me ask a question here uh the first question that i'm going to ask is uh what is this book all about or something let me ask this question and see what happens so if you ask this question it says i'm not sure which book you are referring could you please provide me with the title or author's name so i can assist you better uh tell me five insights from the book and you can see it says use knowledge sometimes it gives you better you have to set the prompt don't get demoralized guys when you don't get you know uh don't get the answer sometimes but you can see it says used knowledge you know response from knowledge to help build our understanding as their insights blah 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 time from ai models so it has given you something however based on the provided information once inside from the book that ai models can uncover insights from changes to improve workflows and uncover new insight basically you can improve the uh, chunking as well you know you can also improve the you can take the premium one when you create the embeddings but this is used knowledge you can see it says used knowledge so it's basically retrieving it from your document now if i ask uh let's try out the tools that we have selected so for example if i ask which companies have performed well on well on the stock market well well in the stock market which ai companies i will say which ai company they perform and let's ask this question now i am what i am expecting that this should basically yeah it says i can retrieve data on specific companies from yahoo finance could you please specify the ai companies you are interested in learning about so i can say let me just say top ai company then see what what it does what it does it says used yahoo finance sticker one of the top ai company the alphabet and you can see it over here it also suggesting you some question and and i'm going to say tell me about the performances of nvidia this is what i'm asking now and you can see it says used yahoo finance ticker so you have selected all these tools so first tool was like knowledge that basically our knowledge base on of one pdf then we have yahoo finance we have duck duck go you know which is which kind of gives you some context from internet then we have pubmed pubmed which brings information of medical literature literature from pubmed central and then we have other things as well you can also ask question through here let me uh, let me let me ask this question give me an article on ai advancement in 2024 let's see what what it does it says Give me an. I think this is fine. So it it's able to take your input through voice, and you can see it says used archive. Now it's getting it. Oh, fantastic! You know, I loved it. So it, now it's using a different tool. So based on your prompt, so because we have we are doing function calling, you know, within this uh, underneath this agent, so it basically identifies your prompt, classifies those prompt on which tool it should go and uh, fire it, and then it fires that uh, a particular. And when you click on this, you can find out response from archive search as well over here. uh let me ask a question let's see if pubmed is able to retrieve something you know so let me ask this top research from biomedical domain in 2024 let's see that 
which which tool it calls basically and you can see it's now calling pubmed search the system is smart enough to understand what kind of questions you are asking and basically fires that particular agent and then gets the response for you so you can look at here it says here is a top research article from the biomedical domain in 2024 title is mTOR inhibition enhances synaptic and mitochondrial function in alzheimer disease in a poe genotype dependent manner it gives you the summary and also gives you some output now you can also again go back and make a lot of changes in the uh, settings you know you have this is fine we're not going to make any change then you have these models you can again change here over here and you can make all these changes guys by the way you can again take upgrade to higher model for now it's gpt 3.5 but again you can change other ones as well again you can go back and enhance the knowledge base you can see this is what our demo kb is and let me go over here and you can see a recent app when you click on that here you can again search source text you can find it out but this is not something i'm interested in so let me go to studio click on ai agent and show you something now this is fine this is how you can see it and here you have a chat app api we're going to talk about that how you can call this locally and use it as well and you can see all of your logs so if you open these logs it will show you all the conversations how it went and everything now everything that you can see it over here you can look at the agent log you know basically and that's what you, you can do with langsmith as well you can do with a lot of other tools like you know hamming ai you can do with athena you can do with a lot of other uh, observability platform uh, to be honest now you can see that was the query and it says blah 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 output uh, over here this was the first question if you come down here this agent log you'll find out the agent log for this so basically you had query top ai companies and here goes the output and it uses that particular thing and then you have tracing you can find out all the iterations you can find out the ticker which was google for this and then fetches the information from yahoo finance you know using that and then gives you the final processing which basically synthesizing the response for you that's what it does now you can also set up you can also do a better instruction prompting here and if you want to do that you can do a react as well reason and act to kind of look at step by step and think now this is fine i think you, you were able to see this as well annotations we are not doing anything so this is fine okay we don't have any annotations you can also do that you know you can take feedback improve the system later on here you can find out every uh, thing on the reporting side of it you can see your backend service api this is your service api endpoint you can use your api key and this link to basically you know integrate this if you open this api reference let me just open this here this is how you can call it and you can use it in your local uh, python file or something application if you are building pretty easy guys straightforward to build proof of concepts and mvp if you want to show some demo to investors or client you do not have to write any code just take this of course you can also embed it let me show that quickly you can see here you know this is your public url if you want to share this public url feel free to share it ready to use ai web app you can see it's in in service blah 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 token uses 42k consume tokens including your pdf with that created the vectors now this is how you can look at the reporting side of it let's go back here on your i'll just i'll just get rid of this all of these things over here now you can also embed this into site so you, you can embed in three different like three different ways so one is your like a web uh, you know just take this to add the chat app anywhere on your website add this iframe to your html code so if you have an html code you can just add this iframe okay over there now this is one in your mobile phone okay something like a mobile uh, or not a mobile like an e-commerce site or on your website where you can have a small icon in the right hand side in below and then if somebody clicks on that it opens the bot something like that you can just do it and you can use chat gpt to get a uh, get an app dummy app and do that so you can also embed this so do not have to rely on a coder this is what i wanted to show you guys in this video you know, very quickly how do we create a knowledge base and if, again you can see this is how we create a knowledge base you can take a premium one to get better output from vector database you also have different tools and you can see all the tools that we used we used DuckDuckGo, we used you know multiple tools you know that pubmed archive blah 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 okay and in studio we created one ai agent you can create multiples you can also create from templates so here we have all the templates that you see you can do drag and drop and stuff you can see knowledge retrieval plus chatbot this is what we, we did this one question classifier plus knowledge plus chatbot you know that's what we did but if you scroll down you can find a lot of things over here
you, know, you have translations you have article grade if you want to grade the articles you have website generator using some kind of image generation models in back end you have sql creator you have ai front end interviewer everything that you need guys you, know, you can do that you have python bug fixer you have youtube channel data analytics okay you can use whatever you want here you know recommended you have uh, assistant so let's see the assistant one a strategic consulting expert i can answer your question to strategic marketing blah 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 in the writing what we have let's see we have getting mi meeting minutes and summary in workflows you can orchestra a lot of workflows which are really which are really fantastic you can see it over here automated email reply you can also do that in your gmail you, you need an api for that from google console if you want to use this and then we have agents to agents are fantastic you know you have youtube channel travel consultant everybody is building travel consultant you can also build travel consultant you know you can say use this template and you can just create on this and then you can take it from there guys drag and draw you can see it says uh, travel consultant you can find out top variables questions and you can look at here follow up you have everything that same thing that i was showing you let's also enable these things you know for travel consultant you can, you can see the tools that they are using tool column for agent raising and prompting blah 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 to, 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 tool not authorized but this is fine okay not done wikipedia web scrapper everything is there you know chat enhancement and you can just click and you can see it's like it's depreciated you need a better model gpt 3.5 will probably not help you with okay it's not there so yeah this is how you can publish it probably this will give an error to you because you know, these are all depreciated probably they have to in, uh, you know improve this further yeah but this is how you can also use you know this already created template you can see it says 404 now you can see travel consultant what is your destination so if i can say for example you know i want to go to mumbai so let's see this see it here mumbai and i'm gonna say how many days i'm gonna say three days what is your budget i guess between one thousand below one thousand and you can just start chat it says welcome to your personalized travel service with consultant blah 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 remember your journey starts here i'm here to guide uh to, 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 what are some recommendation hotel this is fine i'm not interested you know so okay let me see what are some recommended hotel and you can see this or trial can not support gpt4 model so you need then access of course you need an access here for gpt4 preview which is depreciated as well but this is how you can do it guys you know same flow drag and drop you do not have to do a lot of things just use those already created templates and component you can again create yourself as well yeah that's all for this video guys i hope you got a bit of idea on DeFi, how it works and stuff and if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us we are also launching the discord server guys you know we have already formed a team that that's going to help you if you have any questions if you need any support on generative ai you know i will give the discord link we are announcing it tomorrow on monday and join our discord and upskill yourself with generative ai that's the plan if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in near future that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one